For this week, I was studying the effects of soil sanitation through means of salinating beans and five petri dishes with different amounts of saline solution, of course with a base tester with 0% saline solution to see the true effects that salination has on beans and on crops in general. Um, throughout this experiment, I first mix salt to, to deduct and make the different saline solutions at ranges of 0.5%, 1%, 1.5%, and 2%. Then after I can make each of those solutions, I, I ran just a little bit of the water onto each of them in the petri dishes. The beans were all laid down on paper towel, two layers of paper towel. This would allow them to absorb and hopefully germinate. Although, each day I measured the weight of each petri dish and continued to add distilled water to the, each of the petri dishes to reach back to the original weight that the dish was weighing in at prior to me um, letting them soak. Um, the importance of using distilled water in this experiment was that it would produce the ideal, um, the ideal fertilization and germination for the beans, um, and it would have less contaminations than as opposed to tap water or a water body source. I found it to be very interesting, the results um, that I found after five days of doing this. Um, I really got to see the true effects that salination has on the germination process and the growing process of beans in general. I'll now show you my graph depicting the results. This graph is showing the saline percentage um, for each of the petri dishes starting with 0% on the far left and then 0.5 followed by 1, 1.5 and 2% and then um, on the left side was the amount of beans that ended up germinating completely. I did not count any of the beans that were not fully germinated. The results showed that the 0% no saline um, involved uh, base dish resulted the highest with 10, all 10 beans, which was the maximum number of beans and was the number of beans that I put in each of the petri dishes to be germinated. Um, the 0.5% saw six of the beans fully germinate, while the 1% had three, the 1.5% had two, and then the 2% had none that fully germinated. This was very surprising to me. I did not know just how drastically salination could affect the germination process. And that was a great way for me to find out that these beans would ideally thrive with 0% salination and would start to be affected at as little as 0.5% salination. Um, the primary effects of soil salination on the plants, um, it, it ultimately limits the ability for the roots to absorb the water and moisture that is necessary for them to germinate. Um, throughout this experiment, I learned that the beans that I, were, that I was testing were halophytes which means that they are um, are not halophytes, excuse me, they're not halophytes, which means, halophytes means that they're salt tolerant plants and that they have adapted to be able to grow with salination in the soil. So the beans that I, would, that I tested would be considered glycophytes, which means that they are not prone to salination and do not do well with salination in the soil, or in this case, the petri dishes with the paper towel. 
most I learned also that most field crops, including corn and wheat, are intolerant of sanitized, sanitized soils. This is a huge problem, considering um, that a lot of, unfortunately, uh, salination gets into the soil um, across the country in these crops, and it can cause for lesser yields in production for each of the crops that they are um, growing. I learned that most plants are damaged by soils with over 1.1% 1. Uh, 1 salinidity. Um, however, I was able to find that it started to show a decrease and even as little as 0.5. But you really started to see that huge drop off once it reached 1%. The root cause of salination in our um, crops and fields where we do grow um, and farm are fertilization, irrigation, and deep-rooted plant removal. All of these contribute to the salination of the soil, which therefore affects the growing for whatever crops they may be trying to grow there in the future. The reason for um, testing each of the weights of the petri dishes after each day throughout the five day course was to see how much water was truly being absorbed. In the ones that were salinated, you saw that not very much water was being absorbed, hence um, resulting in a lesser weight and less um, germination overall. I found that a salt concentration of all of um, 1.0, 1.5, 1 all drastically inhibits the complete germination of the bean seeds, while also seeing that it was slightly affected even as little as 0.5%. Um, groundwater with a salt concentration of 0.5% is not an appropriate water source for irrigated field beans is what I deducted from this conclusion of my results. Um, overall, this experiment was very helpful in really showing me just how much the salination affects crop yield, specifically with the beans. Thank you.